Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video um, where I post every eight months with no regard. Um, hopefully I'll get better at that, but until then, um, here is 10 ways, uh, quite a few ways, we'll say, uh, quite a few ways to fill your sketchbook. Uh, if you specifically, but not limited to, if you wanted to make it a thick sketchbook. I have posted a bunch of these, I don't know, maybe like 10 on TikTok and Instagram. So hit those bad boys up. Let's get started. The first, the first one I just want to get out of the way. It's not one of the ones I'm going to be showing you or trying to show you. Um, it is using any sort of type of paint. Uh, to warp the paper to get it to be thick. I know a lot of people say this, but I just wanted to make it very clear that if you See the warp there that if you don't want to put too much effort or you want something quick Like this will make it warp and make your sketchbook thicker. You can um, see the difference, but you can also hear it That's no warp That's with warp you, you can basically feel different. So that's always a good idea, you know, if you don't want to really put like that much thought into it. It's super easy. The first one I'm gonna start out with is one that I really love. It adds pops of colors. It can make it thicker, um, especially if you use a bunch on top of each other all at once. I love it. Um, oh, let me, sticky notes. I love it when people do a bunch of sticky notes together or around the page and you know it's them like redrawing the same thing but the sticky notes make it a pattern it, there's a bunch of cool things you can do with sticky notes and they're so versatile they can add more color like in here like putting down these um sticky notes really helped me get my color down for this spread i love this spread it's my clown spread it's one of the best if not the best spread i've ever done so don't forget to use your sticky notes, kids. They're not just for class. Another one, I think I came up with this. I think I am the original, uh, 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 originator or original creator of this. However, this if I'm not, I'm not gonna be upset. I'm also, maybe I won't claim it. Cause I, I don't think I've seen it anywhere, but like anybody can do this. It's putting wax seals in your sketchbook. How legit is that? And I made it match a little bit with the color, so it's like one of those accents. But this one's sparkly to go with the Scooby Doo ghost. Like, it looks so good. Like, I could rip this page out and eat it. Like, I, it's edible. This is edible. You know what I mean? Like, again, I think I have an original thought with this, but if not, it is what it is. Has my lighting been like that the entire time? Is this better? I guess I'll keep it on. I don't quite know, but. <laughs> Um, and also I made a mistake here like it dripped and I flattened it anyway And I think that would be so good um, To make a piece where wax accents is like a big part because I feel like that would add a really nice texture and like just interesting depth to uh, Either like a piece or just a sketch like that seems cool, but These are super dope and I literally <laughs> I didn't do the smart thing uh, where you light the wax and let it drip on a wax paper and then just like stamp it on the wax paper I literally just I literally I hear I'll give you a demonstration I lit the candle let it drip onto the paper and then I press down with the stamp probably not the best I, I can't see if it I mean I, it, it has a little bleed here um, But I can't see it on the other side because the, the third one is puffy paint guys <laughs> so I can't really see if it like bled through on this side or not. I think Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Oh no, I think it did. I think it did. Just cover it up with some paint. You know what I mean? Like, if I grab this Posca pen and I just go like that. <gasps> it's a different color. What the freak? What the freak? Wow, it's covered. That's crazy. <laughs> that was a close one. I almost messed up this spread. I really like this spread. Um, using puffy paint, I laid down Posca pens, which already warped the paper, um, a little bit because of it being paint. And then I added puffy paint and it, it is so nice. Now don't do what I did, uh, which is not wait for it to dry completely and then close it. 
um, please let your pieces in your sketchbook dry before you close them. Otherwise, you might run the risk of like ripping your pages up. Uh, not fun, not slay, not pussy bossing. So watch out, guys. Watch out. Let them bitches dry. Uh, the next one uh, is kind of simple, but it, it can be like so like across the board. Like it's like putting cutouts or like other pieces of paper in. For example, this one I have like scrapbook pieces. Like before this, this little octopus, I didn't like it. I was gonna cover it up. At some point I was gonna like tape a piece of paper in, cover it up and like make it some sort of, oh, the piece of paper is like, cool. You get it, right? But then I added these little guys and they're kind of valid. They're kind of messing it up right now. Like adding like just random pieces of paper, like, like uh, collage is super cool. Or just throwing paper in. This one, this this spread is super cool, but it's just pieces of paper that are like little sketches that I've drawn that I just glued in and they're on top of each other and stuff. And I added like little accents, but they're super cool. It can make or break a piece. In this case, it was making the piece because I would have cried if I had to look at it like this any longer. I think this looks really cool. It's an eye centipede. Um, most creative thing I've ever done. On this page, I have a mini sketchbook, which I know this is not an original idea. Like you could put mini sketchbooks in all of your sketchbooks. However, I wanted to be a little quirky. Again, I have no idea if this has been done before. So if it has, don't at me. Um, and if there was somebody who has started it, please, please put it down in the comments, you know, share the love, but it's a mini watercolor pad. Um, it, I don't know how to show that it is a, <laughs> But I already have two pieces that I've like taken out and just taped in. Um, and then this is Harold, this little man. He's chilling, funny little guy, no jaw. This is good to make it thick. And then because this paper is thicker than like the actual sketchbook paper, it can add some like buoyancy to it. And like, it's just strengthening the page. So it does kind of make it a little thicker. And like right here, um, this definitely makes it thick. And I don't know if I'll leave it like this because it's like, if you're drawing like this, it's kind of like off and on, but then I have um, putting in little canvases. Like this is just like a thin wood canvas that I put in. Um, I painted it with Posca pen um, and I used a big, I used one of these big Sharpies. I love Sharpies. Mm -hmm. um, best brand. <laughs> just, they're so, they're so good. They're so good. The Sharpie gel pens. I have like 15, I'm not even lying. I have 15 of them. They're great. But I glued this in with rubber cement. Please be careful when you use rubber cement. It's like super, super toxic. It smells bad. It also, well, I don't know if it's that toxic, but it, it, it's not good. You get it stuck to your fingers, you'll like your skin will peel, you know, not great, not funny, but it, <laughs> it adds a nice little contrast to the sketch page that I had with these little star dudes. I love them, they're so cute. Now this is an original idea. I love these. I, I think I should turn this into a sticker. The little tiny panels definitely add like very nice thickening. Uh, the next is... Patches, patches, that's what they're, oh my God, yo. <laughs> I think patches would be super cool. I don't know how I got this in. Oh, I used a bunch of like lay down tape, um, like these things. Um, just cause like, then if I ever want to actually use this for something else, I can just rip it out, <laughs> destroy the sketchbook, just like stickers. I think like, uh, patches are kind of the same way. Like if I want to use it, like, why not? Like I'll have, I'll have these sketchbooks forever. So like, for example, this sticker is pretty cool. That's pretty valid. It's it, 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 it drop it where it lays, I guess. Why wouldn't I want to use it? Like, that's what they're for. They look super cool. And you could cut this up and make it like a background for a page. That would be sick. They just like add cool effects, but like, cause like you go from like a drawing texture to like a fucking uh, one of these things. Like that's super dope. Like the texture is going to be cool. Like it's going to add depth. You're going to have it thick. Like it, it's just pretty cool to have. Um, here's more sticky notes. Another thing is like fabric. 
like uh, this is the goth cat on Pinterest <laughs> um, and then I had like this cute white ribbon that I found that I just like put X's on and glued it in for that goth punk anarchist emo boy scene um, other alt genres uh, just to add some thickness and also just some like differentiation in the pages because like it can get pretty boring when you're going through the sketchbook and it's all just flat so like adding some variety to it has been really cool and just really interesting and i really like coming up with ideas like i thought about um gluing in seashells and other just random objects and stuff like that like flowers like those resin teeth you know what Fuck it. You into witchcraft? Glue your best friend's locks. The hair in here. Use actual hair for like a painting or something. I don't, I don't care. Another one is like, this is the only kind of one that I have, but there's so many cooler ones that I wish I had done for this video so you could see it. But they're interactive pages. Like this one has a staple on the pages before I glued it down. So I was able to like open it. You can kind of see. But like, I love it when it's like, um, those like water fountain ones where you pull and then like the page will go or something. Or like the ones where it's like a window you can open to see. Um, or like you, 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 there's like a pull here tab and you pull it and it reveals another image or something. Like those things are so cool. Don't put them down, man. Um, and embroidery. I don't know if I elaborated on that. Like, I feel like it would be really cool to embroider a page. You could also just like get like a random sheet of paper, embroider that and then glue it in. That way it's not like you, you have to like use one whole sheet and make it both pages in order for it to be embroidered to make it look cool. That If you're catching what I'm putting down, God bless. Um, I also just thought about this with the mini sketchbook in here, you could add like um, a mini palette. Like if you make watercolors or something, you could add a doll up here and let them dry. Um, and just boom, kind of, ooh, or like, you know those like paper palettes that like you activate with water? You could glue one of those in there or like cut them up and glue one, like the little squares in here. That would be pretty cool. And sorry, I know I'm a mess right now. Going back to this page, I actually had this pin in and it looks cool. And like, maybe when I finish the sketchbook, I'll put it in. But like, it's one of those things where it's like, if I have the pin in and I'm trying to draw, it literally, I can literally trace around the, like, the pin. It's just, it's not flat and it's not like a nice drawing surface. Like, with like this, like the mini sketchbook in here, like at least like once you get to a certain point, it's not as like difficult. Like I would like leave space for it in a page and then try and fill up a bunch of pages and then, oh, and then like because like right now i could draw on it right now like at the like you know what i mean like it's it's here and i'm drawing here and i can barely feel it i mean i could still feel it but i can it, it wouldn't affect me drawing just start using scrapbooking stuff like it honestly scrapbooking and sketchbooking should just combine it's super dope i don't understand why people aren't doing it more another fun thing that i don't have in but would be like super cool kind of like kind of like the wax that i was talking about is if you uh, made clay items and put them in or like you, uh, you know how they do like shadow boxes as well just start doing that without the shadow box <laughs> like you can make like a bunch of paper and then just glue paper in and i think that would be super dope that's the short little video i have for you guys if you have any ideas on what you would want me to show you if I already went over it, if it's just an idea that you would like to see somebody else do, um, let me know. Let me know. I'm trying to make it a thick sketchbook. I don't want to be able to draw on it by the time that I'm done. Like, But I have um, this much space. And you guys have seen the, seen the sketchbook. Not all of it, obviously, but I'll do a little tour, maybe a little in-depth tour when it's finished. But thanks for watching. Um, go hit up my other social media outlets and let me know if you liked the video and if you want to see more of it, if you have ideas for what you want me to do. Um, I do have another video coming that I have in store. Um, I want to make my spider Sona.
I think that would be cool. Um, anywho, catch you on the flippity flop. Can you see my arms crossed? It's supposed, it's like, you know what I, yeah, all right, okay.